Seven months ago, I hit 100,000 Robux. But that was not enough for me. I wanted to be a Robux millionaire. And well, we hit that goal. So to celebrate, I thought we would change things up some. I've been gone for a month, which is pretty usual for my upload schedule, but I have been busy at work. I paid somebody to remake all of the UI for the full clicker game file, and I spent 35,000 Robux on this guy. He did a good job, but it's just not really the style I'm going for. So we're going to be spending 24 hours learning how to make UI, and we're going to see if we can make any Robux. So first we have to figure out what software we're going to use to make the UI. If you're a returning viewer, then you know I like to use Photopea a lot. My god, it can't be crashing again. But we're going to be changing it up today. So I'm going to learn how to use a software called Figma, which specializes in user interface design. So first we got to learn how to even use this program. I started off by bringing in a rectangle. We have all of the properties on the right side, and that's basically the main portion of what we need to know. But to get more comfortable with using the software, I'm going to find some references from Roblox and try to recreate them. Every time I join this game, I spend like 5,000 Robux because my friends make me buy them pets. All right, we're in Pet Simulator 99. What frame should we try and recreate? How about settings? We're gonna do settings because it's really simple and I think it's a good starter. So let's go ahead and just take a screenshot of this. So I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes just trying to recreate this. I'll be back when I am finished. Now, obviously it was gonna be good because we placed it on top of the reference and copied exactly what colors were on the screen. But now we're gonna try and figure out our own style to use in the Shop the Happy products and you guys will be able to have it in your own games. I started off hour two by going into a bunch of different Roblox games and just trying to find as much inspiration as possible. I also destroyed a bunch of people in Arsenal. Alright, I think I got a decent amount of inspiration now. I'm gonna start off with these buttons, see if I can get a good gradient, and then we will go over to all of the main frames. Of course I started recording this video when my phone was at 10%. Yeah, there's no more face cam because my phone died. All right, so stuff is coming along pretty well and now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the rest of the HUD. And after that, we're gonna go into the Happy Clickers game file and screenshot all the different screens that we'll need so that I don't accidentally forget to make a frame. Spoiler alert, I forgot to make a frame. All right, so for the first frame, I'm going to start off by attempting to make a better version of our current pet inventory frame. And I know this is the hardest one to make but I just want to try and establish a style with this and I'm not really expecting this to be the final outcome for the frame so yeah I'm gonna mess around for a bit and I'll be back when I'm done Okay, so we have made a decent amount of progress, but I'm really struggling to figure out a layout that includes all the buttons needed without it feeling overly crowded or messy. So I'm just gonna keep messing around with different styles. And we also gotta add the section of the UI that shows all of the pet information and stuff. So yeah, we're making good progress and let's keep going. All right, so this is not the final layout for the pet inventory, but I have been spending a bunch of time on it. So we're gonna switch over and do all of the other frames now using this basic style that we've established.
I know it's pretty basic, but these frames are looking pretty good for only having a couple hours of experience with Figma. I'm going to go and check what people think of the UI in the state, and we're going to go back over everything and try to add more detail for a more unique style. So the first way I think we can really add more detail is through the buttons, because as you can see, they're used pretty frequently. Something I've learned through making YouTube thumbnails is that more often than not, less is more. So I really tried to keep the effect really subtle while still adding a little bit more liveliness to the button. Since these blue sections on the shop are a lot larger than the normal ones, I'm going to go ahead and add even more detail to them with white areas that almost make it look glossy. But now this makes everything else that we've made look terrible, so we gotta go back and upgrade all the other UI. <laughs> I went ahead and made three different versions of how the buttons will be laid out, and people seem to like the version on the left the most, so I went with that. Alright, now we're going to be upgrading the pet inventory UI with our new button style, and I'm going to try to come up with a more appealing layout for the buttons on the bottom. Okay, so I came up with this style for the buttons off camera, and I'm pretty sure I recorded everything else, but um, let's go ahead and see what people think of it on Discord. He's also telling me that I have to go more intense with the gradients on the buttons, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Alright, so this is turning out a lot better than I was expecting. By the way, if you guys want the UI pack that I'm making in this video, you can download it all through the link in my description. Anyways, let's go ahead and give more focus to the HUD now, since we've completed all of the mainframes. Okay, it's been a while since my last check-in, and we are finished with everything. So now it's time for the fun part, importing everything into Roblox Studio. Now don't get me wrong, I've imported Roblox UI before, but I completely forgot how long this process takes. And after all of that, I was three hours deeper into this challenge. I also stopped and played Clash Royale a lot though, so it wasn't the most productive. So I thought I had finally finished all of the importing, but we encountered an issue. You see, when I changed the size of the screen, everything is scaling properly, except for the text. And then I remembered that this little checks box called text scaled existed, and I didn't check it off for a single piece of text within the entire project. So I had to go back and fix all of those, which was a very fun process. But nevertheless, we now do have it actually fully imported and scaled correctly. So I sent it over to Qubit, and he's going to hopefully have it all scripted in the next week. And hopefully, when we add it into Happy Clickers, our player count will jump up again. Speaking of Happy Clickers, I just released a new update a few days ago because we still had the St. Patrick's event out when it's already a few weeks into April. Sorry that this video took so long to get out, I've been busy with school. But we are going to be releasing a Tycoon soon, and I am going to start working on the Pet Islands game for real this time. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.